Hey, this is YBR with DMG Drive, and we're going to go take a look at a map. It's called Bone Breaker Tumblr White Rock Canyon. And that's the full name. You only see part of it here. And it's a Tumblr adventure in White Rock Canyon. Where's White Rock Canyon? I don't know. I don't even know if it's a real place. I didn't look it up. I should have, but I didn't. Somebody else can feel free to fill me in on that. And uh, anyways, we're going to use the off-road version of the truck. It's um, If you don't know what Tumblr is, it's basically just think of it as an off-road course. It's oversimplifying things a bit probably, but just think of it as that. So we're going to get a yellow off-road truck, and we're going to drive this thing around this place. We're going to um, go nice and slow, use manual transmission, automatic clutch, sure. And we're just going to be nice and careful through here. The goal is just to not flip over, you know? Because I can do it real fast and flip over every few cor corners, but the real hardness, the struggle for me is to not flip over at all, and that's what we're going to try to do. Will it work? Who knows? There we go, that's the first section though. We got through that without much uh, serious problem. Go to the next section. A little, a little fast into there. Didn't flip though, it's all good. Happy, happy, happy times, man. We're doing good. You know, with manual though, I'm bouncing off the rev limiter all the time. So, what is this low RPM red line nonsense? My red line should be at least 9,000 RPMs. But it's only like 5,000 as red lines. What is this nonsense? Anyways, we're doing good. It's all that matters. We're not, we're not, uh oh Came at this at a bad angle. Let's see. Can we make, okay. Good, we're good. I was afraid we might flip over there because I came at a bad angle, but it's okay. Everything's good. You know, nothing here is too difficult as long as you take your time. As long as you take your time, happy times are ahead, man. You're going to enjoy the place. If you try to rush through it, you'll also enjoy it. You'll just flip over all the time. Blur, I flipped over. Because that's what happens to me if I try to rush it. I just flip over every few turns. Or every few bumps, I guess you could say. Right now, I'm just trying not to flip over, you know, like I said. Cause I, you know, I, I don't know. I think, it, I think it's a more fun video if I just do it good instead of doing it fast. You see, this is the kind of the whole, what the whole map is. There's also another area we're coming up to. You see those circles up there? Those are targets. We'll get to those soon. Here's a water area. The water cannot drown your car in this map, unfortunately. So you can drown your car out and it'll be okay, no, actually. But uh, let's go ahead and take a detour real quick and go look it over here. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. See, I told you. Man, the second I start to go fast, we're flipping. That's just the way it is. We're flipping over the second I try to go fast. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go take a look at this stuff, so it really don't matter. So we're going to line up the truck right over here, make a nice turn, and we're going to go try to hit that target. Because that's all that is. It's a jump that lines up with the target, and you can try to hit it. And that's close. That was in the white area. Not quite the red, the bullseye. But it wasn't in the blue either, so that's not bad. Next one's a little harder, I think. Because the jump isn't as smooth, so lining it up is a little more difficult. But we'll try it. We might as well try it. And just in case, I'll probably miss entirely knowing my luck, but we'll see. Uh oh, way off. Yep. I told you I'd miss it entirely, didn't I? We, well, I'll tell you what, we'll give it one more shot. More more than twice, though, that's going to get boring. Oh, and there's also a bridge if you're a wimp and you don't want to fly your car into the bullseye and die and stuff. You're like, I want to live. Well, fine. Just drive along the bridge, then. How boring. All right, here we go. Try to. Try to keep it a little more centered. Oh, come on, come on. That's not bad. It was in the white zone again, so that's pretty good. Worth it going twice. You made it the second time. The other time I kind of went a little far left and it just went bad. So, let's go ahead and continue along without flipping over, hopefully. Try to just uh, find our way back to the road. Here's the road. And actually, real quickly, we could go look at something over here I want to show you. There's a little house. I don't know what it's for, but there's a little house. It's boarded out. I don't know if there's any way to really look in. Well, you can cheat your way into it. Look at that. Hey, what is that? I didn't notice a sign there before. Gotta read it. For all of you that chose to drive, that break the beam and G and end up died, rest in peace. Rip, 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 rip. What's in the house? Oh, nothing. 
<laughs> I think I I don't know if I've seen that house style before. I, uh, I don't I just don't know. You also got to look at that mountain man. We drive through that eventually, or we already did. I don't know which. I didn't notice there was a sign there. I just saw the house from a distance. I said, hey, let's go look at the house. Oh, and there's also, if you fly over the um, bullseye, I never tried that because I wanted to hit the bullseye. There's also some markers. I didn't notice that because I'm like, I want to hit the bullseye. What are you talking about? Fly over the bullseye. That's how you lose. I've played darts before. I know what I'm supposed to do. Well, I guess you don't always want to hit the bullseye, but hey. Man, when you suck at darts and you hit the bullseye, boy, does it feel good. <laughs> it's like, I hit the bullseye. So here we got an option. We can go go into the water or go along the road. We'll go along the road because that's what you're supposed to be doing. But you know, if I went along the water, I could be a per I could be a yellow submarine. That'd be interesting. Bright yellow submarine. <laughs> That's basically what would happen. The car would just drive along the bottom of the thing and just not care. But I like this. We're, we're good with like this, you know. Be, do, do it realistic. Do it the way it's supposed to be done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera just spun on me. I didn't expect it to go that way. And we're almost through. Stinking automatic transmission. Like, let's go to fourth gear. No, not yet. I like the RPMs to be high. It's funny. 4,000 RPMs is like, oh, that's cruising RPMs. Oh, wait, no, that's a little bit before red line in this car. I'm just not used to such a low red line. Such so little. I'm sure you'll get a 10,000 RPM red line someday, truck. Or not. And you see there's like a, a temple up there. There's actually a secret, well, maybe not secret, but a hidden way to get into it. And we'll go ahead and go into it and show you the inside of it. Oh, speaking of secret and hidden and stuff, there are like uh, five jewels or crystals, whatever you want to call them, that are hidden along the map. I'll show you the one. I'll show you one of them. There's one in this temple, and I found uh, two others, but I don't know where the other two are. So I'll find. I'll show you guys one, and if you want to find the other ones, you can download the map and find them on your own. But I'll show you where at least one of them is, just because we're gonna kind of see it anyways if we want to go in the temple. So it's, otherwise, I would just tell you about them and say, "Go, good luck, guys." But I gotta kind of show you this one just because. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. It's kind of a crazy way to get in here, but we're good. Slow it up. Turn it tight. Okay. Don't want to go too fast or I'll flip it over probably. And here's the inside of that rock temple thing. See, there's like a little area you could drive around. Then there's like a gravestone that says BMG Drive. It's kind of weird. It's like, what does that mean? Does it symbolize something? Maybe it's not supposed to be a gravestone. Maybe it's, a ob maybe it's something else. I don't know. Anyways, it's right there. I think it's light on it, so I don't know if that's like, I guess like, I don't know if it's uh, like supposed to be like the lights coming from there or something, or if it's just a coincidence, but I don't know. And the truck was rolling away. But anyways, now we're inside. You could also go over here and take a peek at the crystal. Go like this so you can see it. There it is. There it is. So that's what they look like. There's one of them. And like I said, there's five on the map. You can find the other ones, hopefully. And let's go ahead and get out of here before we flip over somehow. Now there's another way that almost looks like you get in here. I didn't try it. We might as well try it though. There's like a way it looks like you could almost get in here if you had a short enough car. I don't think the truck will work for this, but we'll see. Alright, so maybe you could. See, there's a hill right here. That, uh, you see, you can kind of go, like, it looks like you could go up into it. So you could probably go up that hill. It looks really tight, so maybe not. I don't know. I didn't bother trying it. But now we're on top of it. And that was totally legit. We didn't teleport or anything. We just drove up here. Uh oh. Now we crushed the roof up a bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and get off of here and go back to the main road. It would have been great if it managed to land right side up, but I knew that wouldn't happen. Alright, so... I think about over here is where we decided to go for a detour, so we'll just go back over here. Alright then. And continuing on on this road. 
long as we're careful, like I said, as long as you're careful, you won't flip over. If you try to go too fast, you'll flip over. So I'm sticking to that strategy. Just slow and steady wins the race. Oh, no. Dang. I was doing good, too. See, I was getting too confident, man. I'm like, 30 miles per hour is slow, right? And then I flip over. See, I was just getting too confident, getting cocky, man. I'm like, yeah, I got this. And then, whoops. And we're going through the hard area here just because. Like, you could go through the easy way, or you could try doing it the hard way. Why did I do it the hard way? What was I thinking? I was thinking I got this. That's what I was thinking. Maybe I don't. Screw it, we'll do it in reverse. If we got enough traction, we'll do it in reverse. Yeah. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, but we made it. And, and, you know, if you were smart, you wouldn't have gone the hard way. I just wanted to try it, you know? Technically, we made it. Was it good looking as we made it? No. Was it amazing? A little bit. We didn't reverse after all. You know, that's, that's something. Oh, sheesh. Did not see. Now I'm flipping over all over the place. I just didn't see that coming. I look smoother, and then it's like, oops, that's not smooth at all. Alright, just slow down. I just gotta slow down if I wanna not flip. And there is the end. So there are a couple other things we could go look at, too. I think you got a mountain over there, and a road. What is that? Like a broken... I don't know what that is. But anyways, inside of the mountain you got like a little, uh... Area you can drive around in. There's a red light over there and I'm not sure why. It's not like there's a, j a crystal or anything, but there's a red light. It's like, ooh, why is it red? Why is it red? Why? Nobody knows. Possibly this is an accident for all I know, or it could be the... There's supposed to be another crystal there, and there isn't. I don't know. Then we could drive along. And as you see, it works nicely. One thing, though, this map is pretty FPS friendly in terms of GPU uh, power usage, because there's not that many trees or anything. You know, it's just sparsely uh, decorated with trees here and there, so it makes it where you don't ha lag too much or anything. And, um, well, that really is most of the map. I mean, there are other areas you can go look around at. You know, you see this stuff right here. You can just drive up around. There's, like, a bunch of little things out, you know, on the edges of the map. They are, like, some of them might look kind of, like, half-finished. Like, you know, you know, they might add more to it someday. Like, here, it's just kind of like there's a mud pit. Maybe there'll be more to it sometime. Uh, one of those things, like, who knows? And, uh, you know, like, if you go over the, if you decide you wanted to crawl over these rocks and stuff, there's an area over there. Just go whoop whoop whoop. Area over here. Or the easy way is just to like come through there, right? That's the lazy way. Oh look at that! There's a crashed plane right here. Oh man, I didn't see that before. That's cool. Cause I'm just flying around the map looking around right now. I'm I don't I haven't actually driven over here. I'm just looking around. Little volcano or something, you know? But I like this map. It's a lot of, like, little neat things, you know? It's like you got the little plane there. You got the targets you throw your car at and then smack your face into them. There's a lot of cool little things. And then there's one where there's not even a target. You're just like, I'm going to fly into the cliff. Splat. There's also a road that uh, you could drive on just a normal road. Oh, how boring is that? What are those doing? Just little tents? Look at that. See, like, the little details, man. There's just little tents and stuff. You know, it's, it's fun having the little details like that. I like them. Um, hey, what's that? Look, see, little details, man. It's like, what's that? Oh, it's one of the gems. Oh, well, I found three of them now. And I guess I showed you guys where two of them is. Oops. Wasn't the plan, but oh well. So you could drive along this road if you wanted to. We could do that real quick. Instead of flying over it, we could drive along it. Set our car right here. What are you doing? Flip upright. What are you doing? Be faster. There we go. 
Yeah, it's white. I don't care. I'm too lazy to change the color. Not exactly the smoothest of roads, but I think we could take the bull light through it. So this car has a reasonable red line. I like it. So we'll just cruise along. Nothing too fast or anything. We'll just go along this road so you can see it. I guess it's smoother than I thought it was. Or when I started it was rough, but this one seems smoother now. I haven't actually driven this road before, I'll admit that. All I did previously was just the main road. This one doesn't seem as rough as I thought it would be, though. It's pretty smooth, actually. Which is good for a paved road. Trust me. Rough paved roads are kind of annoying sometimes. And there we go. We've about to made a loop now. We started just over there. So there you go, that's uh, the other road, and well, there's probably still some things around here that are hidden that I probably missed, uh, but oh well. Like I said, I didn't even find all the jewels, so there's still something somewhere. Maybe it's in here. The purple water. Oh, there is the... Okay, there's the last one. I found them all now. Ha 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 ha. And I spoiled two of the three of the locations to you guys. Whoops. But it was not the plan, but that's what happened. Anyways, that'll do it. And until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.